making short a long story, uh, Eco Gold is a company. We are, I'm a textile engineer, and um, I have been involved in mostly technical projects, vital and friendly systems for dye houses, etc. And uh, um, because we have been also supportive of uh, environment friendly uh, projects, uh, we were uh, sponsoring a project with the University of Ottawa, by the way, we are Canadian from Montreal. And uh, they were developing a solar car that's supposed to go on a race in Australia. And so I was involved how to uh, dress the driver. And uh, we were there in a meeting and came a young girl, a little bit half crying, and she said, what is your problem? And said, well, because my horse, because the University of Ottawa, they also have a uh, riding team. Oh, and my horse is uh, having a problem, blah, 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 blah. And uh, maybe I will not be able to compete when the, the weekend. Uh, so they asked her, would you like to see her horse? And I had never seen a horse in my life apart from the movies, Indians and cowboys. So I said, why not? Let, let us see that. Oh, it looks like. And uh, so what I saw of this horse was losing hair on the back. It's almost like a sorrel where the saddle is supposed to be. And uh, I said, look, I don't know, but I think that what you have here is something that is rubbing and is hurting the, the horse. Uh, so, well, what can you do about it? Yeah, because here I put my pad, I put my saddle. I said, so maybe what you could do is to have two pieces of fabric, one touching the horse, and the other touching the saddle. And some Teflon on the middle, so yeah. these would slide and would not uh, rub the horse. And he said, well, but how can I find that? And he said, look, we are going to the factory and uh, probably we have some pieces of uh, fabric there. I will do something for you. So I made a saddle pad for this girl. She called me in two weeks. You know, John, a miracle happened. What happened? My horse, the hair is growing and blah, blah. And I'll be able to compete, etc., etc. Well, then was another lady that called me and said, do you have something for the bumps? She said, what is the bumps? Oh, because my horses develop bumps on the back. And they said, look, I have no idea, but I can <laughs> give you a pad like I made for Emily, and you try it. So I put in the, this pad, she tried, and the same thing happened. The lady said, oh, well, the bumps are gone, blah, 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 okay. And they said, wait a minute, we may have something here as a therapeutic path for horses with problems. And happened that uh, we went to see a uh, uh, back shop. And they said, look, we developed this. And, uh, and the guy asked us, how much is your price? He said, $150. Oh, forget about it. Look, I have this from China that I sell at $50, and nobody will buy that. Okay. In the meantime, was an ad of a clinic that a dressage rider was doing. They said, let us get another opinion from a rider. So we went there, and uh, this lady, I don't know if you are familiar with the dressage riders, is uh, Shannon Dweck. She is a Canadian. She lives down in Florida. <laughs> and uh, she saw the pad and said, gee, that can be interesting. Can I, I'm going to try it. Can I try it? I said, well, do you have bumps in your horse? No. Is your horse losing hair? No. Okay, that's no good for you. Don't do, do nothing. She said, okay, let me try anyway. So she went, she put on the horse, blah, blah, blah. She did the whole thing. And then she told me, you know, John, this is something fantastic. I said, why? Look how happy my horse is. I looked to the horse. It, it just look a horse. <laughs> it was smiling. It didn't do anything. But anyway, it seems yeah, it makes horses happy. 